Hey, Brad, where are you headed? Oh, hey, hi, I'm late, I'm headed to class. Well, you know what, you got time for some questions. <clears throat> 30 seconds. All right, let's go. What do you usually teach at Emerson LA? <laughs> um, I teach the business of acting, and I teach entertainment PR, and I teach a section of the internship class. What's a skill every actor should have? Oh, sense of humor, sense of humor. Just the ability to have a good time and not take it all so seriously. Just ha having fun with it. And the ability to not just listen, but to hear what's being said to you and, and around you. Big, big, big skills to have. Why do people in the Emerson community call you an industry powerhouse? <laughs> because I scare them into it. I say it so frequently, right? And so if you say something so frequently, pe people eventually just assume that it's true. So th that's it. I'm an industry powerhouse. I keep telling, and then it's assumed fact. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about that book, The Business of oh, Acting. Oh, this. So this is, I've written four books. I'm very proud of that. Um, the New Business of Acting. This is the second book. The current book is a pretty green cover. Um, and it's all about the landscape in which you would build a career as an actor uh, in the business of acting. So um, I'm, I'm really happy that we have this and we use it in the class. And uh, it has been really, really well received. Give us a purple cover next time. <laughs> or rainbow, or see-through, or, um, but I'm open to suggestions. All right, what's your favorite memory for being a publicist on shows like The Jeffersons and One Day at a Time? Oh, the fun of driving onto a big studio lot. We were shooting those shows at Universal Studios, and before that at CBS Television City, and sitting around the room for the table reads, a new script every week and hearing the words come out of the actors' mouths for the first time, seeing that come together, incredible experience. And then I think sh show night when we had the studio audience live in the, in the studio and we j just had it come together. Incredible fun and great, 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 great memories. What's your favorite thing about seeing your students produce an acting showcase each year? I love seeing them become content creators. I love seeing them come up with these incredible ideas and I love seeing them deliver the final product and, and, and to have seen the process, the creative process that they all go through in doing it. it, it it's, it just is an incredible challenge that they meet glowingly. What do you admire most about your students? Ah, potential. All Emerson students, vast, incredible potential, and they know it. We just teach them how to take it from here in the class to th there out in the real world. It's, it's a, just a wonderful thing to watch them come alive. Ready for some rapid fire questions? No. Go ahead. Theater or film? Stage. Better Bonds, Connery or Moore. Now see, see uh, uh, Pierce Brosnan, the guy from Remington Steel, um, and that's only because I wasn't available. <laughs> if I had submitted a self-tape, I could have been the first Jewish Bond. Spaghetti or lasagna? Now, there you go with the carbs, right? Like, let's go for some t tofu as the vegan in the room. I'm pushing for the tofu. Pretty Woman or Sleepless in Seattle? Oh, neither, neither. Soylent Green, 1970s. Well, it was a long time ago, but a great movie to spark conversation, not a comedy. Driving on the 405 or 101? Oh, my God, that's the worst. 405 or 101. Why would you do that to yourself? Take, that's why I look like this at 27, years on those freeways. Take the road less traveled. Get, get, get on Route 2, get, on the, get, to, to get off the freeway and see another part of LA. You better get ready for class. I shall do that, thank you.